Hello Popcorn Junkies, welcome to the Popcorn Junkies. We are going to be reacting to a trailer for a brand new series called The Gentleman. This is a new series from the creator that is Guy Ritchie. Now, I have to confess, I was really frustrated, disappointed in myself. Go to the back of the class. You've only let yourself down and you've let the team down, if we're brutally honest, that I didn't pick up on it, didn't jump on it, didn't react to it, because when I watched it, I was deeply entertained by it. Now, I have a curious relationship with Guy Ritchie. Not entirely sure um, whether I fully am on board with his shtick. Um, maybe my issue with his earlier films, Lockstock and all that, and Snatch, which a lot of people talk about as absolute crime classics, is that they were kind of overshadowed and eclipsed by the, I would say, nuanced differences of Sexy Beast, that Jonathan Glazer film starring Ray Winston, of whom Ray, more of Ray Winston in a minute. Um, the Gentleman, the, this, this series is a spin-off or a kind of, uh, you know, revisit of the territory that he, he brought to us uh, in the movie, the 2019 movie, The Gentleman starring Matthew McConaughey. You know, it's that kind of blokey, kind of action, thrillery, comedy, brutal kind of comedy shtick. I, I started watching The Gentleman, the film. I didn't enormously get on with it. Didn't dislike it, but it wasn't doing for me what, in many ways, it, it, there's great similarities between The Gentleman and and then there's there's the sort of the Kingsman films. You know, it's that sort of cool, blokey, slick, styly, action-y kind of thing. Uh, let's not forget Guy Ritchie made the Sherlock Holmes films, which I think are superlative. I think they are some of the best action detective uh, movies made, uh, you know, Robert Downey Jr. is brilliant, um, you know, uh, Jude Law, but the style, the technique, the storytelling, the action, the the articulation of his his preordained thoughts, there were just some really clever, nifty moments of filmmaking. Them, Of course, Guy Ritchie went off to make Aladdin, which was a curious one, and off, off sort of off, off to the side there, hugely successful and very enjoyable. So maybe I'm sort of reluctantly coming to the point of thinking, I quite like Guy Ritchie, and maybe I should go back and watch Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and even Snatch. So, The Gentleman, this is the series, there has been a teaser. This is coming to Netflix. This has a remarkable cast in it. It uh, stars. It stars Theo James. Um, Theo James is funny. I, Theo James has that thing about him where I feel like I've had a drink with him. I feel like I've been out with him. And I think that's an important part of these films, that the actors feel like you might have had a drink with all of them. You wouldn't be at all surprised, or I wouldn't be at all surprised if I'd been out on a night out with them. I remember being told many years later that I'd been on this crazy night out and Damien Hurst had been there and I'd made, been talking bullshit to him at the Groucho Club. And, you know, I just feel like these are guys that you feel you may have got drunk with. And cool. That's cool. They're the gentlemen. The gentlemen. Anyway, as I say, I saw the teaser for this and it looked sensational. It looked witty. It looked funny. It looked scatological. It looked rude. It looked provocative. And at the end of it, there was a moment where you saw the back, the hulking back of Ray Winston turning around, about to say something. And I'm, I can't get enough of Ray Winston at the moment. We watched Sexy Beast again recently, and my God, it was absolutely joyful. So without further ado, let's watch the trailer for The Gentleman coming to Netflix soon. I didn't ask for any of this. The title has no practical value. The business is broken. There are holes in the roof, the staff are revolting, and you, brother, are a coke-sniffing cunt. Allow me to introduce myself. I used to be in business with your father. I have certain interests I need to discuss with you. Now what happens down there? It also comes a bit of a shock. Inheriting a house, title. As the new landlord, you will receive a significant amount of money. In return, let us carry out our activities. Use like a dink in it. What the f People either survive in the jungle or exist in the zoo. What do you think, John? I think you should fuck off back to your country house and wank off your spaniel. I'm going to remove their interest from this estate. I didn't create this problem. I'm trying to help you deal with it. No one walks away. And it's down to you to keep them under manners. <laughs> These are serious people. <laughs> Though they appear to be house-trained. 
don't be deceived by the facade. So in order to stop ourselves being associated with criminals, we are going to become criminals. Criminals. We're not criminals, Freddy. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Lapsang Su Chong. I'm in. I'm in. That ticks every single box I like. It's not taking itself seriously. It's sending everything up. It seems whip smart. Giancarlo Esposito is in there. A, a little bit of Breaking Bad actually thrown in there. Vinnie Jones. He's always actually, he's, he's a very, he's not, he handles himself very nicely in these roles. You can't help but wonder whether, you know, that whole kind of, you know, mansion or stately home, dukedom and all that kind of stuff. Guy Ritchie kind of got there, didn't he? he with his with his cap and the sort of shotgun. And I, I, don't, I liked it. Theo James, he's so, uh, there's something very sort of tactile and kind of approachable and playful, isn't there, with Theo James? I, I do like him. He's a great actor. Jolie Richardson in there. She, she pops up in some curious ones, doesn't she? I am sorry, I like the look of that. It looks funny. It's violent, which is great, but it's a kind of comedy violence. Drug taking, vacuum packed fucking weed production underneath a stately home. Uh, a naked octogenarian pensioner with a, with a gas mask or a war mask and a shotgun. What not to like, guys? Oh my God, I'm, I'm in. March the 7th. Count me in. <laughs>